Good morning. So for this week, it's gonna be St. Jill. We'll be having a video discussion. After watching this video discussion, if you still have questions, you can just uh, message me to GC or PM me directly. So let's start. We'll be discussing about the critical approaches to writing a review or reaction paper or critic. So this is uh, this module. It's good for two weeks. So since academic break na next week, We'll be resuming answering this module on November 8th. Then, ipapasa nyo siya ay sa November 15 pa. Alright? So, let's start. Um, when we say critical approaches, this is a very important expository discourse that you must learn. It is mainly written to communicate a fair assessment of situations, people, events, literary and artistic works and performances. So, nire-write lang siya para uh, ma-communicate mo yung assessment nyo regarding sa isang sitwasyon, sa mga tao, sa events, literary works artistic works, mga paintings, drawings, etc. and performances, yung sa mga movies, teleseries, films, short clips, yung mga ganon. So, it conveys incisive insights into its analysis of events, its interpretation of the meaning or importance of a work or artifact, or its appreciation of the moral or aesthetic values reflected in the work or performance. So, it's a lang siyang analysis. This may also include the main purpose of event, for example. So, pwede yung ma-include yun sa um, reaction paper nyo or sa critic paper nyo. The devices and strategies employed, kung ano ba yung mga um, in-employ ng mga strategies evaluation of its success or failure, and an assessment of its significance and relevance, timeliness, and timelessness. So, assessment din siya kung ano yung significance ng event or ng literary work or kung ano yung relevance niya. As a reviewer and critic, you must have uh, these two. The first one, you should not simply rely on mere opinions Rather, you must use both proofs and logical reasoning to substantiate your comments. So, yung critic paper nyo, or yung reaction paper nyo, hindi lang dapat siya magre-rely sa kung ano lang yung opinion nyo regarding dun sa kinikritik nyo. Dapat may ginagamit din kayong mga proofs at saka mga logical reasoning. So, dapat meron din kayong mga evidence na isa-cite dun sa inyong um, critic paper. Next one. Uh, you must also process ideas and theories, revisit and extend ideas in a specific field of study and present an anal analytical response to the subject of your review. So, dapat ibabrodan nyo rin yung mga ideas na nilalagay nyo dun sa critic paper nyo or reaction paper. Next, let's now discuss the critical approaches. Uh, this will help you focus on the more important aspects to examine, analyze, and evaluate. Kung ano ba yung mga i-examine nyo, ano yung i-analyze, and i-evaluate. Para specific kung ano yung isusulat nyo sa inyong critic paper. So, first one, we do have the formalism approach. When we say formalism, it do emphasizes the form of a literary work to determine its meaning focusing on literary elements and how they work to create meaning. So, ang focus nito ay yung mga elements, yung structure, at saka mga principles na nag-govern dun sa certain text, artworks, movie, books, po poems, etc. So, kung ano yung mga elements niya. For example, ito yon. Halimbawa na lang ay sa poem, sa mga tula. So, ang ikikritik ninyo dito is specifically ay kung ano yung meter, yung mga figurative devices na ginamit, imagery, theme. So, yun yung specific na ikikritik nyo if you're gonna be using a formalism approach. Sa books at stories naman, ano yung settings, yung mga sino yung mga characters, and then the plot, yung mga important events dun sa books or stories. If it's gonna be a movie that you're going to critic, um, specifically, sound effects ang tututukan nyo, transition as well as the shots. 
So, dito sa artistic expression, it could be, um, specifically, ang ikikritik nyo ay yung lines, yung colors, yung shapes na ginamit, yung rhythm, yung texture niya, and then the sound, if it's applicable. So, again, that's the formalism approach. Um, specifically, more on sa elements lang siya, sa structure, kung paano ginawa. And then sa... Um, principle na nag-govern doon sa text, sa artwork, sa movie, sa book, or uh, poems, etc. So, yun yung uh, formalism approach. Next one, we do have the biographical criticism from the word biography. Tandaan nyo lang yun, kapag biographical criticism. Kasi dito, ang ina-emphasize naman ay yung importance ng author's life and background into account when analyzing a text. So, um, kapag nag analyze kayo ng text, tas biographical criticism, mga approach na gagamitin nyo, lagi nyong ini-incorporate sa pag analyze yung mga nangyari sa life and sa background ng author. So, the focus on this one is the life and background of the writer or artist and connect it to the subject of your review or critic. Yung kinoconnect nyo lang yung mga pangyayari sa life and background ng author doon sa nangyayari sa um, kinikritik nyong piece. Next one, we do have the historical approach. So, it posits that every literary work is the product of its time and its world. It focuses on the era and significant events that happened during the time the text, movie, book, art, or poem was produced. So, ang pinofocus dito sa historical criticism approach is that yung mga uh, yung literary piece na inyong kinikritik ay ibinibase nyo naman dun sa nangyari nung time na naproduce yung uh, literary piece na yon. So, kasi ang paniniwala dito is um, yung literary work daw ay product ng uh, time nito kung kailan sinulat at kung ano yung nangyayari sa panahong yun. Next one, we do have the Marxist criticism. So, ang proponent nito ay si Karl Marx. Si Karl Marx. So, it emphasizes on power, um, politics, and money. So, ito yung nag-play uh, ng role on literary texts and amongst literary societies and characters. So, it do focus on how class, kung paano yung class, yung power, yung race, and economic status, kung paano yung nakaka-apekto dun sa content at sa theme ng literary piece na um, kinikritik ninyo. So, ito yung focus ng Marxist criticism approach. The next one, we do have the feminism approach. Ang ine-emphasize naman nito ay yung roles, positions, and influences ng women ng mga kababaihan dun sa literary text. It focuses on how women are portrayed in a certain literary work, in arts, in commercials, in movie, etc. So, kung paano pinoportray yung women, yung mga kababaihan dun sa um, literary piece na inyong kinikritik. And then the last one, we do have the reader response criticism approach. So, dito naman, uh, it do emphasize that the meaning of a text is dependent upon reader's response to it. Kung ano lang yung response ng reader or kung ano lang yung response mo dun sa text habang binabasa mo yun. Focus on the meaning you created while reading a text, watching a movie, or looking at a certain object. Kung ano lang yung meaning na na-create mo habang nag -re ka, habang nag nanonood ka, or habang tinitingnan mo yung certain literary piece. It do focuses on your personal connection with and understanding of the subject of your review. Kung ano lang yung mga personal connection mo regarding dun sa kinikritik mo. If it's gonna be a story, a novel, a book, so, habang binabasa mo, ano ba yung meaning na na-create mo? Sa movie, sa mga series, sa mga napapanood, kung ano yung naintindihan mo based dun sa uh, pagkakapanood mo, kung ano lang yung response mo dun sa pinanood mo. And then, if it's gonna be a painting, kung ano lang yung pagkakaintindi mo habang tinitingnan mo yung painting or drawing. 
So all in all, we do have six critical approaches. The first one is, so the first one is the formalism. So nakadepende lang siya sa elements, sa structure, at saka sa principle na nagogovern dun sa literary text. If it's gonna be a poem, yan lang yung i-critic ninyo. Books, stories, movies, and artistic expression. Then the second one, we do have the biographical criticism. So kung saan, uh, sa pag-analyze mo ng text, ay ini-incorporate mo yung author's life and background. So if it's gonna be a movie, kung ano yung background ng writer or kaya ay nung artist. So kinoconnect mo yun dun sa um, kinikritik mo. Next one. We do have the historical criticism kung saan naniniwala sila na yung certain literary work ay product daw ng time nito at ng world nito. Kung ano yung nangyari sa panahong isinulat yung certain or pinroduce yung certain literary work. And then we do have the the Marxist criticism wherein ang focus naman nito ay kung paano yung class yung power, yung race, and economic status, kung paano yung nakaka-apekto doon sa content at sa tema ng certain, ng isang specific na work na kinikritik ninyo. And then we do have the feminism. Ito naman yung naka-focus lang siya sa mga kababaihan. Kung ano ba yung role nila, position, at saka influences doon sa literary text. At kung paano sila pinortray doon sa kinikritik ninyo. So, si last one ay yung read response criticism. Kung saan nakafocus lang siya kung ano yung personal connection mo at kung ano lang yung pagkakaintindi mo. O yung response mo doon sa binasa ninyong literary text. So, i-discuss naman natin ngayon yung mga gagawin ninyo, yung mga activities. So, in here, sa activity ninyo, you're going to write a short critic lang. At least 5 to 8 sentences regarding dito sa mga nandito at kung ano yung uh, nakalagay na din dito, naka-specified na kung ano yung approach na gagamitin nyo. So, so number one, yung ang probinsya na ang sikat na sikat na series dito sa Pilipinas. So, ang critical approach na gagamitin nyo ay yung Marxist criticism. So, ang focus niyo dito ay kung paano yung um, class, yung power, yung race, at saka yung socio-economic status ay nakaka-apekto doon sa content at saka doon sa tema ng series. Then, sa number two, Rome's Coliseum, ang critical approach na gagamitin niyo ay historical criticism. So, meaning to say, you're going to look into its history. Then, the third one, we do have the Sympathy Tula Siya by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Ang gagamitin nyo namang approach dito ay yung reader response criticism. So, kung ano lang yung pagkakaintindi nyo doon sa, um, dito sa tulang to, habang binabasa nyo, kung ano lang yung meaning na na-create nyo while you are reading this poem. So, again, at least uh, five to eight sentences. And then for your reflect, why is understanding the critical approaches necessary in writing a review, reaction paper, or critic? So, bakit kailangan mong, uh, bakit mahalaga na maintindihan mo yung mga critical approaches sa pagsusulat ng review, ng reaction paper, or ng critic? And then for your transfer, you're gonna fill the table um, here by writing a short critic then, 5 to 8 sentences long for critical approach on a novel Story, poem, movie, or series of your choice. So, kung ano lang yung um, preferred nyo na gamit. If no, it's gonna be a poem, then that's fine. In here, um, you can also use a separate paper kung gusto nyo. Kung gusto nyo yung surat sa yellow pad, that would be fine. Kung gusto nyo yung printed, um, computerized, that would also be fine. Basta isusulat nyo lang dito yung title. And um, if possible, isulat nyo na din kung sino yung author. And then in here, you're going to write the formal uh, critic nyo na ang gagamitin yung approach ay formalism approach. So, isang piece lang, isang literary piece lang yung gagamitin ninyo. And the next one, kung paano yung siya is ikikritik using historical approach. And then, using Marxist criticism approach, biographical criticism approach, and reader response criticism approach. 
So, lahat ng, uh, ng critical approaches ay gagamitin nyo sa pagkikritik ng napili nyong literary piece. So, that's gonna be all for this week. If you, again, if you do have any um, questions, feel free to message me or uh, message me pwedeng sa GC or PM me directly. I thank you so much for this week, grade, uh, grade 12. Happy academic break. Bye for now.